Ladies and gentlemen, Pizza's here back with another video and today we're gonna have a look at a couple games from one of the greatest developers of all time. Can you guess who it is? Jetpack is an arcade shooter and was originally released in the early 80s. Now at the time, the game was praised for its visual graphics and addictive gameplay. The objective is to collect rocket ship parts scattered around the planet, collect them all and you move on to the next level. Pretty basic gameplay. Ugh. Now you got yourself four lives in this game, but you don't get much of a chance, eh? Like the game gets pretty hard pretty quick. You collect these random items, you got like nuclear signs, diamonds, eggs. It's a bit random. One thing I like is you got unlimited ammo, so you do have a decent chance. I'm gonna collect the fuel, get the rocket going. I mean, if you're into retro gaming, like Atari age, this is definitely up your alley. Okay, one more. It's going or out of here. Nice. Rinse and repeat, of every level. Obviously the enemies are getting a lot harder. Now they're bouncing over there. Ugh. I mean the visuals, they look pretty good. Sound effects, pretty boring, but... There's an oldie this one. Ugh. Perfect Dark was released for the N64 on the 22nd of May 2000 for North America and the 30th of June for Europe and Australia. A successor to Rare's 1997's Golden Eye, with upgraded textures, animations, gunplay, and reworked game engine. Games, man, man, you used to play a game, leaderboards, achievements, help and options, the next game. Let's go play a game. You got Carrington Institute, solo missions, combat simulator, cooperative, and counteroperative. Let's go solo missions. Begin with Data 9 Central. We're an agent. Let's begin. Let's get used to the controls. This is on the Xbox, so a little bit different than the N64. Pretty good though. ADS, fire, yeah. Crouch, yeah. Pretty basic. Now, this was one of my go-to games back in the day. Like, I used to grind hours and hours and hours of this game. So much fun. The multiplayer, in my opinion, one of the best ever made. Like, you can't beat it. You thought Goldeneye was good? This game just tops it by like 10, eh? This is one great game. Now, technically I should be reviewing this game next year because this is set in the year 2023 so it would make sense but oh well it is what it is. Now 
man. What are you doing here? Nice, I remember this. We're gonna pistol whip this chick, unfortunately. Oh, we shot her! Crap! As I was saying earlier, you gotta pistol whip her or just punch her out. We'll just punch her. Be safe this time. Alright. I think we're going to take the elevator. Same formula as James Bond. Basically just got to do objectives in the missions. Part of the missions, part of the objectives. Go from like agent to secret agent. You know the gist. Now this game's got a total of about 50 guns. So you got a big variety. Including some of the games you can find in GoldenEye 007. Which is a pretty cool feature. You got the ZZT 9mm, the DD44, the KF7 Special, and a lot more. I love the voice and dialogue the characters make when you shoot them. They say like, oh I'm dead, but they're already dead when you shot them, so it doesn't really make sense. But it's still funny, I guess. This is one sweet game. Rare did so well, to be honest. Like, this has got to be one of the best games ever made. It's got to be. Ah, uh, room's cleared. There's a secret wall or something? There it is. All right, we're out of here. Nice. We'll do one more mission. We'll do day to night investigation. The sound effects and music in this game, don't they? It's like, they've got it pretty down packed. Fitty, it's not bad. Yeah, man, this is definitely one rare game you go to check out. I've got to wait for this little robot thing to go through. Turn the lasers off, I think. Play the waiting game. Come on, man, hurry up. I'm waiting. Let's go. Once again, the animations, just brilliant. Like, you'll find a lot of sound effects and everything have been reused in this game, the same as GoldenEye, but it don't matter. This game is perfection. Dragon. Look at that. This is a nice game. Well, it looks like we didn't get the code, so we're stuck here. But overall, definitely check this game out, whether it's on the Xbox or the N64, both ports, just brilliant. Definitely check them out.
tune in next time as we have a look at other iconic rare games such as Blast Corps, Banjo Kazooie, Battletoads, Viva Pinata, and many more. Cheers for watching, Legends, on Base Pieces, and this has been a rare replay.